Right then, so this is the last vid for this quite this, this lesson. It's quite a nice lesson really. I've got two different distributions. It says find the probability that x is equal to y. So you've got to think about this. So the probability that x is equal to y. So if x is 1, I'm going to say the probability that x is equal to 1. And, so times by, the probability that y is equal to 1. And then I have the probability that x is equal to 2 and the probability that y is equal to 2, because it's and the same. And then we've got the probability that x is 3 and the probability that y is 3. There. So the probability that x is equal to y, so it's the same number for each one, is 0 0.1 times 0 0.3, 0 0.5 times 0 0.2, 0 0.4 times 0 0.5. So the probability that x is equal to y comes out as um, 0 0.33, I think. Not 3, no, sorry, 0 0.33333. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. Oh, so that's not too bad, is it? Then, oh, the next one. So the probability of x plus y is 5. So if x is 1, y would have to be 4, so that doesn't work. So the probability that x plus y is equal to 5. But if x is 2 and y is 3, that works. And then I could have x as 3 and y is 2. And that's the only combinations where the numbers are added up to 5. So that's going to be, I'm doing this fast because when Nick comes out of the toilet, he's bound to say something. Uh, so x is 2 is 0 0.5, y is 3 is 0 0.5, x is 3 is 0 0.4, y is 2 is 0 0.2. There we go, so x plus y equals 5. Add them together. <laughs> that looks like it gives me the same value, not point three three, according to the completed path. And we're done. Well done, everybody. That's that's a full lesson.